welcome to my channel IT Smart Training today we are going to start uh, the licensing of Exchange Server 2019 so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and share my videos so now we are going to start the licensing of Exchange Server 2019 so a product details tells uh, Exchange Server 2019 that you have purchased standard or enterprise edition license means we have two license keys over an Exchange Server one is a standard another one is an enterprise license key enterprise license key uh, have uh, more than five database per server and everything is accessible with standard license but in standard license there is only the five database we can create uh, if you do not enter the product key in your exchange server the exchange server trial period or trial license will automatically activate it the trial license key will help you to run your test in lab before buying the exchange server exchange server 2019 trial edition valid up to 180 days if you want to keep using the exchange server beyond 180 days you will need to enter a product key the exchange admin center will start show reminders that you need to enter a product key to license the server Exchange Server 2019 product key can be entered using Exchange Admin Center in a GUI mode or using the Exchange Management cell, the CUI mode of Exchange Server. We, using these two options, you can enter the product key. So, first, I am showing the GUI mode how to set a product key in a GUI mode. Okay. So I have to, at first I have to open the Exchange Admin Center and go to the Exchange Server. ex one dot smartlab dot com slash ecp. just sign in English India time zone is uh, GMT 530 this is my time zone and press save this configuration is for first time on the next time you do not need to configure this step I just show you once I just set the password and immediately login so then go to servers select the exchange server here is you can see the enter the product key so here you have to give the 15 character product key whatever your product key so these are the 25 character product key and if you want to save then product you will automatically save in your mm, database so this is the first way to do the product key second one is the there is another option this is a one option I have already shown you and the second option is 
with C Y mode. So I just open my Exchange Console. Here is Exchange Server 2019 Exchange Management Shell. Go to Exchange Management Shell. Here is Notepad. Here, this is my Exchange Server name and the product key. Just copy product key and paste. So I have product key. So uh, I cannot uh, share the product key in this video. So that's why I'm trying to this uh, this kind of character to. Uh, as a product key so I'm just giving a pause video and uh, perform a, and in giving you the right product key in the exchange uh, console then resume the video you can see that the exchange server is already licensed so Just go here, just refresh once, and then I have to I have to go services.msc. Go to services.msc. So you just restart the MS Exchange IS service, or you can run the command also. information store service this service have to restart like this or you have to go PowerShell to set this command to restart MS exchange information service so now if you go to the uh, admin panel you can go to the servers go to the mailbox you can see that my exchange server is licensed enterprise licensed so this is how we can license uh, exchange server 2019 uh, if I if we don't provide license the exchange server will automatically uh, in a trial period with 180 days so thank you. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and share my videos. Thank you.